This is how I live. I live. This is what I love. Oh. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of. Welcome to my life. This is what I love. This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of. Music love life. Crystal Jordan, be honest in myself, Mr. Kevin. We are. Music love life. Whoa! Jesus Christ. Where have you guys been? I don't know. Like, who are you? I overslept. (laughs) (laughs) Who are you guys? Right. Wow. Hey guys. What what do you say after four months? (laughs) We just just, we just took the summer off, really. Is that what it was? It it was it was well, it was a hot girl summer. And uh, uh, I, you know, had things wait, to wait, do. Wait, wait, it was a what? It's a, it was a hot girl summer. Yeah, I had things to do. Hot, so hot, it so was you're a, the hot girl. Well, I didn't say I was the hot girl. I didn't say that. Then who I'm is not the hot girl? words who, in my mouth. But I'm saying it was a hot girl summer overall. Women were really just taking back their, their you what? know, I, just their, their, their power, their Taking sexuality. Taking it back. When did y'all, when did y'all ever have power? We gave it to you all and you When did you ever have power? It. We took power. We took, we took it back this Cavemen summer. just went and grabbed a chick by her hair Yeah, well, and now we've gotten it, it back. Mm, I, I think we've got... That. I feel what's as the, though we do. What's the evidence of that? <laughs> well, there's been all... There's been... It's just been so much happening. I really hate that we weren't able... Because I kept hearing from people that listened to the show, we were not able to give commentary on so, so many things. Um, One of the things that I thought about you guys with was I had an opportunity to interview Jasmine Banks, i.e., a.k.a. the Cucumber Challenge Girl. Uh, I I Um, thought I saw that. that You did. did, You did. Yeah. Yeah. Who? Okay, so let's bring him up to speed in a way that only a man can because I'm sure I I couldn't really explain her brilliance the way you would. You have you heard anything at all about cucumbers being used this summer? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. It's salad. So so part of <laughs> no. right. One would think. See, that's such a man salad. Yeah, that's such a logical puffiness in the use under of the, the eyes, cucumbers. Yeah, perhaps. Right. Right. Beauty treatments. Yeah. Sometimes no. I've seen people get cut cucumbers and put it in water, and you drink that water. That is right. Infused, right. It has infused many, water. Like yes. Exactly. Bougie exactly. nigga water. None of those are how they were being used. Okay. They were being used to publicly perform fellatio to uh, demonstrate one's uh, skill oral skills. Set. Skill set. Okay, so are we? Uh, so what we're assuming then that a woman that can deep throw makes oral sex good? See, that's questions that I have for mm, everyone. Like, what? Because first of all, is a cucumber theory? is a cucumber a, a a good representation of a penis? I mean, cucumbers are. I mean, they're generally the same shape, right? I don't think, the but they're but they're not skin. They're hard. Right. They're they're they don't bend. They don't. They're not flexible. Are we washing these cucumbers first? I, that's another question that we ask. Where are you transporting it when you're bringing it to the public place that you're <laughs> going to perform this? Not only that challenge. Not only that, a uh, cucumber was also used to perform uh, for penetration uh, in one of the videos that as is well. So, so cucumbers have really been black chick did this. Yeah, oh. mm-hmm. cucumbers have really just. Um, in the the fruit and vegetable world, yeah, there was a there was a party, there was a weekend party, and Alexis Sky from Love and Hip Hop um, went live, and they were girls had cucumbers in abundance at this party, in abundance, and uh, they actually P- penetrated yes. uh, each other with the cucumber. I don't think on, that the on cu- Instagram Live. On Instagram Live, this went viral. This is it, what we referred to as "Hot Girl Summer." This, this, this was that's taking your power back because you don't need a man. You have cucumbers now. <laughs> well, unfortunately, they were doing all that for a man, so uh, that actually was reversing our. Yeah, <laughs> not we're, that is not what we meant by "Hot Girl Summer." That's something very different. It was okay. supposed to. I guess supposed to get you going. It's supposed to be arousing. So then, are, are, is the assumption then that a girl that can deep throat has skills that I are worthy Kevin. of, of first of all, a challenge, but second of all, <laughs> getting a man? Because like you say, the, the whole point is to show off for men, right? It is. It is. Because women are not, uh, that women are showing off to impress men. Because really, the only thing you get out of that, because there were, basically there was a, a challenge called She's a Winner. Mm-hmm. Hashtag she's a winner So she was a winner If she was able to Deep throat the cucumber The best Right This girl Jasmine Banks Was the best Because she actually Entered the competition She's head of the class She's head of With two cucumbers She didn't just mm-hmm. stop with one She was an overachiever At the same time 
she went back and forth. Oh, okay. So I thought you meant like... A, is, is she a porn star? She, she is? is a porn star. Okay. My, I, I have some questions. <laughs> I still have issues with this. Naturally. Uh, I, you know, we may need to invite as, her. As, as we expected. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking that it's more attractive, not attractive, it's more exciting mm -hmm. when your girl has a gag reflex because you can punish her. It's not fun if you're just stabbing that shit and she's just dead to the world. Uh, 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 uh. That's not exciting. You know what I'm saying? If she's taking her like that, she might be a man or used to be a man. I don't know. Like, your mouth is far too big. Second of all, if we're talking about average dicks, average size dicks, you're not fucking with a cucumber anyway. That's, so That was my problem. So This is incorrect information. It's, 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 it's provocative. What are we saying? What are we saying? When we're excited by the fact that your woman can suck a bigger dick than you have. <laughs> she's, that she's, is the best question that has been raised is, the entire is summer how, with this. Is that how the power is being taken back? It's and like, apparently it is. I I'm guess. all you got. I guess. Like, she's being penetrated you know, with a whole cucumber. <laughs> Right, and you and the cucumber is not gonna go, you know, suffer from uh, erectile dysfunction Never. or any of the things that normal penises struggle with. Right. So, uh, yeah, that's those are good points. I'm just those asking. I don't know. Those are good points. Let me ask you just something. As a man that saw that, sure, did sure. you did you find did it did it get your did it warm your loins when you saw <laughs> did it warm my loins? <laughs> did it warm your loins? You know what? Here's here's the thing. I am not in a place to judge. <laughs> this is a new married Mr. Not Kevin. Not <laughs> in a place to Wait judge. Wait a minute, does do, do the audience know this? Did what? we, did we have a post marriage show? I don't I think we did. I think we had a, a mar I think no, with married no. Mr. No married no, no. Mr. Kevin? No. no Mr. Ke can we have a moment of celebration? Okay. Congratulations. We all owe Kevin yes. congratulations. Yay. Oh, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. There now is Mr. So, and Mrs. Kevin Mr. Davis. Yeah, there's a Mr. and Mrs. Mr. Kevin. So are you <laughs> unable are you unable to make a to to really gauge because because you're still a newlywed. So he's not. <laughs> so we know he's able to gauge. Are you still in the newlywed haze of happiness that you can't really gauge? Something else that's outside of the marital confines. Um, what does that mean? What gay something like what? I don't, if that's I know, if that's like, it, am I it, am it, I it, too in love? My head too yeah. in the clouds to, to be excited over some random world? chick performing fellatio. Oh, I get it. Yeah, like maybe he's in the in the haze, uh, caught up in the rapture, as Anita Baker would say. Um, I, I don't, I don't think I'm in a haze. <laughs> Are you able to gauge what is attractive or what is sexually stimulating outside of the marital confines of your home? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still a human being. I'm, okay, all right, just okay. My penis still works. <laughs> well, oh, you wouldn't be married if it did. So. Right? Hey, I hope yeah, so, in so, so, order to keep yourself married. You know, um, so, what do you think? What did you think when you saw the video? I mean, I, I can't say I particularly was like, "Oh my God, I'm so I'm so turned on." No, but you know, it's it's a uh, strip club, it's party tricks, it's bachelor party. You know, I'm, right? You see shit, and it just sex tricks. You sex ever seen tricks. some sex tricks being performed and you're I like, have. wow, that's a trick. <laughs> but I, I, I have heard, like, I've heard, I feel, I've made an assumption that men really like tricks more than anything. No, amateur night at Club Nikki. Back, do you remember Club Nikki? You guys were, were you in Atlanta during Club I Nikki's? Wasn't, hey, I, I, I wouldn't think have visited. that's after me. Yeah. Club, I no, visited. after you or before you, you mean? Before, uh, before me, excuse yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Club Nikki was the shit, though. Club Nikki, um, the owner got tied up with that gold club stuff. Um, yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, you know the, the the government people that were there and tied all that whatever that corruption yeah, was he went got, to prison for that but yeah. he was doing pharmaceuticals but because of that he had these strip clubs Club Nikki mm -hmm. Club Nikki Two oh, uh, Club Nikki clever. VIP oh my goodness the gentleman's club the there were all these clubs this was this was maybe ninety three ninety four okay but these were the best strip clubs in Atlanta this is what made Atlanta be the strip club the, capital exactly. of the world okay because Magic City was already there this but is Magic some City, history guys this yeah, is, this tune is in for strip this club history. history yeah Magic City was like old pimp hangout it wasn't like right. I guess they tried to make it younger later right but back in this day old people went to Magic City okay but um and it was a club called Montrez that you were well was it <laughs> well I had a friend who okay. who his sister was either married to or was dating Michael, who was the owner of Club Nikki. So we used to get in free even without getting checked or nothing. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, amateur night at Club Nikki's, 
I want to say Club Nikki 2 was the thing because they did wild shit. I saw a girl make Kool-Aid in her pussy. I saw a girl spit two regulation-sized pool balls outside of, <laughs> from, you know what I'm saying? She delivered two, two. pool babies. Was Two. It, was it the eight ball and it was the eight ball in the queue? It had to be an eight ball in the queue. Right. <laughs> Come on. Of course. How does she make Kool Aid though? Oh well, what she did was she put the powder inside her vagina, vagina. while hanging upside down, and kind of like a back stand, not a head stand, but like a back stand. She put the powder in, and then she had like a little a squishy. She had a squishy mm-hmm. bottle. Okay. She put the tip of the squishy bottle in there, and then sucked it without hands. So it was upside down. She's from that back seat. She's like, <laughs> you start seeing the bubbles go, <laughs> and it's just going down, right? So then she she dance. She gets up. She dances around or whatever. I promise, and you're not gonna believe this. Before there was squirting. I know squirting is like the new thing. Oh, it's all the rage, right? But she somehow figured out a way to make this grape Kool Aid be a projectile for a guy that she invited to the stage. So she pulled it up. She pulled it within her. Pulled yes. it into her yes. loins. Okay. And then she was able to somehow project it out. He was close, yeah. but it still came out. And so she had pussy powers. I guess. No sugar though. That's the only thing I would. But you know, mm. could well, you it put really some wasn't sugar in there? for the taste. It was for the for the look. Well, I mean, anytime you're around a pussy that don't taste right, you know. And how you know it was grape Kool Aid? It was grape. It was purple. Oh, God, that's you, horrible. You sure? She had the packet. You sure it wasn't she, just dark? It was probably dark in there, right? It was dark, but I mean, it was, it was purple. Grape, it was like, it, grape or cherry does seem to be the flavors. color. There's only certain flavors, yeah. Does seem There's to no be the color Kool-Aid. Of, a, of, of the <laughs> Negro persuasion. I believe that it would be either grape or cherry. It could be blue. No, no that wasn't not, even not out that yeah, back then. I don't think it was out. No, that, yeah. that, you didn't have blue Kool-Aid? I don't no, it was know. grape or cherry. This now, was definitely grape, I promise you. There were lights in the club. It wasn't like it was like pitch black. We wouldn't have been able to see anything. When have, when have you ever seen a black black <laughs> folks have anything outside of grape or cherry? At Bam. The <laughs> and that's not. really all I needed to do to settle it. Yeah. Blue? <laughs> that's such a stereotype. That's new. Who puts blue Kool-Aid what in their pussy? New? <laughs> yeah, this is new. Blue is new. Pineapple berry. Wait, 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 like, wait, wait. Nobody's doing that. Let me just say, she's putting Kool-Aid in her pussy. I didn't know she had a standard and shit like would, no it's no, the regular on. standard like, which is grape or cherry yeah, or I would never I do red I have also seen a, a stripper make a martini in her pussy at a bachelor party <laughs> not related though but yeah well that was definitely a different night yeah but then so Club Nikki went down how do you down, figure out that you have doing? that talent never mind let me, I always wondered that no no I, w- I really did want to know like how do you know that that's something that you can perfect like where does that inspiration come from I wonder. Like, I, I, the only time I went, I've been in strip club. I went to Cheetahs a few times, but I went not to- Not a strip club. St- st- I think it's a strip club, but I went to Strokers. That's a different kind of- <laughs> I went to Strokers and I was very- um, <laughs> It's like in deep cover. That's it's stripping. It's like in deep cover where the, real the close. mafia bosses was having a safe. meeting. I feel safe and protected in there. I feel right. safe. Like there's nothing going to happen. There's not going to be any random vaginal secretions that are going to come my way. I was no. in Strokers one night, Jeez, and I did. I was hole. afraid that there, I might have been in the way of vaginal secretion. But this girl was like coming down out of the pipes, not the pole, but a pipe, and I was like. Why would you think to do that? Like, why would you think, Gotta make hey, that tip. forget this pole. Let me go come down to plumbing. Like, how would that become something that you would practice? To answer, you know, to answer your question, though, because, I mean, like, you're right. How do, how do you decide or how do you get good at it? Lots hey. of urinary tract infections. Oh, my God. Thank you. Lots of you. Thank but, I mean, you, you know, the thing Thank is, you. though, is that is the tip that you're going to get or the amateur night worth it. belt you're going to get worth it? They should probably have a doctor in the back, just like a physical <laughs> trainer and shit. Just like, you know, tape, a marathon. taping <laughs> ankles and checking pussies, you know. Jesus Christ. Because I know one girl came down at King of Diamonds and didn't come, uh, didn't quite measure the time and, Ooh. you know, came down her head because they go up and they come down really fast. Did she get up and dance still? No, I think she was like either dead or like almost dead. Like it was really bad. It was like they a, carried a stripper, her off? Yeah, like a... Yeah, for a minute, she's gone. Did they close a, the club? No. Of course not. Just put, pushed her onto the floor. <laughs> put her money on top of her so she won't feel like she got robbed. They brought Sandman out got her ass out of there. <laughs> Keep the, going party going. <laughs> Keep the party going. Keep the party going. Were people laughing? Right. That's what's sad. People were laughing, weren't they? I don't know. I think people were shocked. Like, they didn't think it. Because when they come down really fast, you guys have seen them. They go up and they come down yeah. really fast and it's shocking. And then she just didn't didn't make the, she didn't gauge the, the, the distance, Too much right? bungee cord. Yeah, they, they just came downstairs and said, hey, Keisha dead. I need you to fill the slot. It's your time. Yo, you- I got 10 minutes, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys know, I interviewed some of the young ladies from Beyond the Pole. 
And that show that uh, it it was on the Urban Movie Channel now is on We. It got picked up. It was a it was a favorite. <laughs> so two off brand networks. It went from one off brand network to another it one. It went to an actual a national a cable network because you Urban Movie Channel I think is an app. <laughs> so it came, it came over from the app to the actual. You said That's it went good. from Family Dollar to Dollar General. <laughs> Y'all are stupid. The point is. This is an actual reality show that has um, that has uh, strippers in. I think they're from Magic City and Blue Flame. Blue Flame. No, Blue Flame is the is the is the uh, resident home of choice. Which for some reason became the spot. Yeah, Blue Flame has always been here, but it's always been the bullet wound girls. Well, now but they're more not recently because it's the spot. I went there to to interview uh, Young Dro, and uh, when he had that song out, we'd be in the city. He was at. Do they still have the Church of Sleep there? What is that? I don't know. What is that? Killer Mike. <laughs> Killer Mike started the Church of Sleep. They were meeting at... What is that? They were meeting at the From plane. that show, the uh, Trigger Warning or whatever. What was yeah. it called? Oh, they go to church I, at the Yeah, Blue I was considering joining the Church of I Sleep. I bet you actually. were. God. You are just I, sacrilegious I to... at its best. That's sacrilegious. It oh, is. how dare... Don't judge me, woman. <laughs> no, it is. It is. Man. Why are women so judgmental? Speak, speaking of uh, sacrilege, though... Is, can we finally go ahead and give uh, Jay-Z his props? For what? I mean, because he is basically Hova, for real. Like, and where, and where Which are is you short a, for Jehovah. Where are you accumulating He's this information? He's giving us comes. football back. Did, yeah. really? Who didn't watch football? This did you notice? First of all, people did you are watching football anyway. No, but no, no, no. But we did it without guilt this time. <laughs> did they? did it without guilt last time. No, no. Niggas was still boycotted. Y'all didn't boycott. Niggas was still pretending. I did for one good year. Now the and playoffs. And now you're back with Jay Z. I'm just saying he gave us football back. So you, so you, you agree with him. I don't have to agree with him. I just know somebody's doing something. I'm like, okay. You know what I'm saying? We good. That's whack. That is so whack. We good. That is so whack. What did you think about it? Ah, here's an opportunity for your whole tip to stay legitimate. Oh, What are God. we going to do? No, he agrees. You watch football, right? I did not watch football. You crazy, because they say Cleveland's going to win the Super Bowl. I know you watch football. I, I did not watch football. I, are you in honestly, agreement with Jay-Z? I, I, don't, I don't know I where... I wish we had some music. <laughs> Yo, I... I <laughs> I don't have to agree with everything that everyone does. And, what and type that, and of... Because that's a hard place to be in. What type of bullshit? Are you running for the, <laughs> the, No, I'm just, be, I'm just being for real, man. Question, I'm just being for real. It? I'm just being for real. I have, I have high passion? hopes for what Jay Where's is going to do. Where's the racial passion? What do you mean racial passion? I have high hopes for what he's going to do. He didn't and talk with to this Kaepernick about it. What do you think about that? Hey, he went in for himself. It sounds like a capitalist move to me. Speak on uh, it. <laughs> I don't know that. Hey, do you have civil rights was a deal too? He didn't. Oh, so now it we're was. making deals. You Luther said King King cut a deal. Now we're making deals. You might as well. You might as well shot the bullet. Are you? <laughs> you might as well that, ride the gun, what? right? You are. <laughs> hey, man. No, when they did all of that marching, and Martin had to say, you know what? I'm gonna go in here and sit in, sit down with so this you, guy. So you've abandoned your hotel. You've abandoned your hotel. Why do you always try to do that? Because the other <laughs> hoteps are standing strong. They they're upset with Jay Z. They were very upset. The the small community of hoteps. Right. But man, every no, I, I don't know the, which I don't know which hoteps you're referring to. Are these your... the same people that canceled Kanye and then went to Sunday service? So what you're saying are, are, is, are, those, are, are we talking about those? First of all, hoteps. What hoteps are going to Sunday service? I don't know about that, but with Kanye, what? There's no, there is no Kanye God, God in Egypt. <laughs> There's not. <laughs> They're not. The real hoteps are not doing that. What's but, happening? But mm-hmm. all, all I want to say is God bless uh, Jay Z. That's all I want to say. Hey man, more power to him. Bring us football. More we we love it. Him. I love the fact that he's dismantled the. <laughs> The integrity yeah, of Yeah, I, I understand those who say that uh, Jay-Z um, did some shady moves business-wise, right? He's going after the check. I don't... I know we kind of look at those, it, those in the elite and we say that they're um, not one of us or, you know, that kind of shit, which I get it. 
but I also have seen enough from Jay Z's history of of like helping out other people that I still want to give him the benefit of the doubt to say, okay, maybe it. Maybe it does look shady. Maybe it is a, a little bit opportunist. But one, I don't know that going after the check is a bad thing. And two, I don't know that, um, like, it's still early. And I feel like it's, it's still is it early? more good can come out of it. Yeah, it's, we still talking preseason games. No, we're, we're, we're regular season now. Just you, now, though. You really didn't watch any football. I told game. you I didn't watch. <laughs> But I'm just saying, like, is it early in our in, in us being able to make a decision if if he if he did if we know that he he encouraged at the very least Meek Mill not to perform for Super Bowl, mm-hmm. and then he also did not have a conversation with Kaepernick, which I think to me that's probably would have been, been the most respectful thing to do, even if he was going to do what he wants to do anyway. Well, I don't know that Kaepernick checked with us before he took that money. Kaepernick did settle first, but actually. But then did he check with us before he decided to do that? I don't think. Who is he supposed to check with? Who is Jay-Z supposed to check with? Who going to check well, with, boo? Think, and see, Well, and, and see, that that's that whole thing. Tonight. Like, when... <laughs> no, when that Martin Luther King fit. went to Capitol Hill, did he take Rosa Parks with him? <laughs> was was Rosa well, Parks all, had to sign in of the, of the that, 64 they Civil Rights the movement together. They were in the movement Exa- together. Exactly. But in the movement together, you're allowed to be in different parts. One of us has yeah, to be the head, I, and somebody step that. on the side. I, I agree that we, we have can't to have all do the same thing. We have to have passionate people. We have to have a lot of different. We ha- we cannot be a monolith. We have to have people represent on all sides in order in order to move the culture forward. Yeah, many hands make light work. So if Cap does his side, Jade does his side, Dupree does his side, everybody does their part, then we I think we'll all get somewhere. My problem is we just have to stop idolizing people. Right and and assuming that everything just because somebody does something that you like or makes good music doesn't mean that they're always right about everything. That to me is the whole issue because there's people that were on on social media arguing Jay Z's point and they and they have no idea about the situation. Actually, there was people saying, "Oh well, he's going to buy a team. And he's going to give Kaepernick a job." Like what? That's not true at all. Yeah, what? I felt like that because the whole about? thing it, the the whole thing wasn't about giving Kaepernick a job. Right. It was about even Kaepernick. He didn't kneel to keep his job, or he it was knelt a, for injustice. Right. So uh, all the attention should have went towards the injustice. And you can't have a job if you sue your company. That's, name name a company where you can get your job back after you sue and win a yeah. settlement. You yeah, have to go on probably, about your way. Right. Go on about your way, sir. Right. You'll never play here. Yeah. I had an you you sue turned me. in your two weeks. Sorry, right. I had an employee sue me, and I, I wouldn't. She would not be well. There's no way. No, it doesn't work that way. Mm-hmm. And you're not yeah. even as mean as corporate America. Not not at, not at all. And this is the highest level of corporate. Yeah, that's that's yeah. a whole nother level of. So he had no chance of playing. He has no chance of playing in the NFL again. If he does, it'll be a sideshow thing. It, it, it's not. Yeah, it'd be a it'll novelty be, yeah, it'll for be something, a circus. Which, which probably won't happen. Yeah. Uh, and in fact, I think that he would do better, honestly, um, if if he were to start a league, a little seven on seven or a little arena football league or something have, like we that. We don't have space for that. That shit would be dope. We don't have space Not for watching that. that. Mm. We don't have space for I that. I wanted to watch the big three a lot. I like the idea. I didn't watch it. We don't have space for it. There's just no room. Yeah, but it came to Atlanta and it sold out, though. Yeah, I did. But I mean, it's still on what level are you looking to do this on, though? Like, you want to do it on a smaller level? Or, I mean,. Arena football. He's he. I just. I think he'd be better off just doing something else. He could be. He could have a whole new career. Just disappear. <laughs> I don't know about disappear, but Cap wasn't a good dude. When I mean, I don't remember him ever being a really good guy. That we mean good as in skilled. Like before he decided to put a fist up and mm-hmm. kneel and all that, the activist stuff that he claimed was always in him. I don't remember him being like a stand. I, I, like I never heard about his his social. Was he a star player? For one year, yeah. he was really okay. good. Yeah. Okay. For one year, he was really good. Okay. That Super Bowl run the, between the, uh, I think they played Baltimore okay. in the Super Bowl, he was really good. I'm just going to keep nodding like he I was, know what no, you're talking about. No, he was sensational about. that year. Awesome. Okay, well, that's good to know. Yeah, but. That makes me feel better about but it. But then the defense has figured it out, and it was like, ooh. <laughs> well, that means he could always have come back, though. Mm. You can always come back once you've mm. been that good. No, the defense figured, almost like Jeremy Lin, they figured him out. <laughs> Lynn Sanity happened, and then the next year they figured out all the moves. But he can't come up with new moves? Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, you well, know. Well, that's, that's the game. But the, the problem is that he's not even getting the opportunity to. Well, we got to move on to something else. Maybe he could on. be a, a sports caster or something else, you know? Something. Mm. Use I don't, don't want to see Kaepernick with, that's, like, that's Stephen A. Smith. I, don't, I, don't, yeah. I think he'd be good. It's, it's done. He needs to get a job. I think he'd be good. Mm. Maybe there's a sawmill or something hiring or. 
<laughs> well, okay, let's talk about this. Let's let's talk because it, okay, we mentioned if you In sue job. your job mm. that you cannot come back. What about right. these Me Too movement situations? Because I had I had a really interesting conversation with Clifton Powell, the actor, right? Yeah. And he suggested Pinky that nickel. Yeah, that's that's and he said that's not his favorite character. He said he wishes that people would refer to him playing Dr. Martin Luther King and Selma, Lord Selma. Don't you remember that? As opposed to... That, <laughs> I remember Pinky, is, though. Yeah, that's so much more respectable, but... <laughs> but I don't remember that. Unfortunately. Yeah. He was in Selma? It's not as memorable. He was Dr. King. Didn't see it. I didn't see Selma. It's not <laughs> I as saw memorable. Friday at the Next, though. <laughs> Sorry, Clifton. He's, that's not as memorable. Yeah, well, no, yeah, he is Pinky, no matter whether he, he wants to is. forever be he Pinky. Is. Yeah. It'll be Pinky on his tombstone. Yeah. <laughs> but he said that women were... Sexually harassing men also. And that just that story has not been told. I've never been sexually harassed. Not that really? I know of, no. Hmm. I have. Maybe yeah. you're not as yeah. good looking as you think. Maybe not. Maybe they don't like movie star handsome. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe they, they molest ugly, tall, ugly, skinny guys. <laughs> well, Clifton said that he, <laughs> I'm he, just <laughs> he was, uh, obviously he was a good looking guy, you know. Obviously. And, and he he is, said that. Is Clifton Powell a good looking guy? I think in his in his younger years. Which, which I years? Never, I ain't when has he ever been young? Like go, Ooh, which, pinky. <laughs> I ain't what, never heard no women. What, 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 when has he ever what, been young? What movie was he in when he was young? I remember when he was a grown. He was grown, grown, grown. He was. I don't remember Even young when, Clifton. He was. He was I what young nigga you know named Clifton? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Cliff. He just Cliff then. Nah, nigga. <laughs> He's in his sixties, but I'm just. But I mean, you know, he was a handsome. So you're saying he, you're saying he's handsome? Why won't you just say yes or no? That means I no. Because it's not probably he's not, not like, movie not star like handsome. Not like heartthrob. But in any case, he said that women women were were uh, sexually harassing men, uh. and that uh, women are not called out on it. And he thinks it's unfair. What do you guys think about it? You were sexually harassed. Yeah, I mean it, it's true, but uh, so. So let me ask you this: If a woman, if a woman files like you know, uh, recently here in Atlanta, at Hot 107.9, the program director was let go for uh, sexual harassment lawsuit was filed against him, right? And I am, I was really like saddened to see how many people automatically assumed that he was not wrong. Like they just, it's beyond innocent until proven guilty. They're just like basically. You know, praying for you. You're going to be fine. You're going to come through this. And no one's, you know, realizing that if if Radio One or Urban One lets you go or something, there's probably some meat to it that we may be overlooking. Maybe they just don't want the smoke. No. I mean, well, support for your crimes these days is a popularity contest. It's not so much morality because it's not like like take for example, uh, the president said, you know, grab him by the pussy. Whoa, right? wait a minute. Did he call him the president? He did. Whoa, Whoa Mr. Oh, Kevin. Shit. Oh, God. Good for Come you. Boy, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Growth, man. When, since we've been gone As over the summer, look, yeah, you we're grew in the a fourth little. year. Preparing for a new <laughs> election. <laughs> Preparing for a new election. It only election took three year. and nine months. Y'all yeah. were still saying he's about to get impeached. Like, they, what happened to that? Okay. Preparing Pre- Mr. President. For a yeah, new election whatever. year. Whatever. Mr. Kevin has right. come on board. But he, uh, I mean, yeah, he, he said grab him by the pussy, but. Joe Biden can't even sniff some hair. That, <laughs> no, come on now. You is know, that a fair comparison? But it's awful the, to but think. But that's the off balance of our morality in this country right now. It is awful to think of Donald Trump grabbing anyone's pussy. That's an awful visual. I'm sure more so for women. It but there's horrible. nothing more gross than Joe Biden hugging that little girl on stage. Hey, that just makes you it's feel creepy. Uh, ugh. It's cr- it's creepy. I it's would rather a lot of pussies get grabbed by Trump than have to live through seeing that. So Imagine someone, that so someone, so someone super, sniffing an older awkward, man though. sniffing your hair is more. It's disg- no, it's Well, weird. I mean, it's more well, gross. This is the thing. I, I believe that, and I'm, I, I definitely shudder at the thought of Trump grabbing pussy. But I think that he might have been grabbing pussy that was for sale. That's true. It could have been. Little girls were not. No little girls were harmed you, in the yeah. making of this. You, 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 <laughs> whose hair was he smelling? The little girl. Uh, yeah, it was the younger girl. I got woman. a. I got so like a, uh, another congressperson or. Something. Oh, did, oh, okay. He, I saw. I do. I do. I know what you're talking about. Did he That's call different. out her shampoo by the smell of it? No, he like inhaled it. Maybe, but see, I mean, see, yeah, this is the gross. thing, though. Okay, that is gross. But men do gross things, and I think you guys just are not aware of how how often. Men do. The hair man, man, what have you you ever seen? You ever seen the cougar call a seventeen-year-old boy a tall drink of water? <laughs> <laughs> 
Talk How does about that make you feel? Gross. But yet they still go in there and try Gross. to have sex, and then they brag about it the next day. I had someone smell my hair and guess the shampoo. So this is going to prove that you are a movie star handsome. I mean... When did that happen? At Kroger, at the self-checkout. That's weird. Does your wife know about this? It was a guy. <gasps> <laughs> oh, the scandal! I'm like, uh, that, that explains things. Weird. Thank you. From uh, can I get my grocery out of here now? You took a long, deep breath. <laughs> it was self checkout, my nigga. I don't need you. Like you know what I'm saying? There's nothing you need to be over so, here for. Okay, run us through it. No, run it. Run it back. He gave you That's a bear you- hug and just <laughs> <laughs> no. Got no. up on you close and was like, he was pretending, I guess, to do something at the, the each register. Yeah, or to whatever. close his eyes. He's like, oh, he. I think he said something like Garnier fruit teas or something. I don't know what it was. <laughs> I knew that was what it, it was. Because you guys know those Garnier Fructis commercials are very passionate. Right. They're Fucking very passionate. And it, was, and it happened in the store. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Weird. So I can only imagine what those you, little girls you feel You were like. harassed. I was. You were harrassed. And that happened. Trying Actually, you to, were. Just trying to buy groceries. So hey, you were borderline raped. You lucky he didn't catch you like in the dark. Was he corner. larger than you? Was it no. a, was it a Terry mm-hmm. Crews type? Just a moment? regular old old national gay dude. <laughs> so so you didn't feel uncomfortable. You didn't no. feel. I mean, I felt uncomfortable. Did you feel physically? Um, um, you did the Cat Williams though, didn't you? Say like, I am a boy. Didn't you? <laughs> no. You didn't feel like he could physically overtake you at any moment. I did. You know what? I, I to to de-escalate. I just said yeah and walked off. Mm. <laughs> to de-escalate Yeah just... I mean you know First of all First of all I'm not a So person. Nasty Nate showed up And wanted some cocktail oh. Fruit <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a person That's hey. gonna, gonna be In the middle of Kroger fighting That's just not something yeah. I'm gonna do yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then to fight a gay dude too Yeah on, Cause if you lose Now yeah, what No ain't no do? losing It's just I'm just stay. saying when you, nah. If you lose It's lose that's lose We already hard. had you Pinned up against the wall <laughs> Smelling your hair <laughs> Hey, it's lose lose, man. You one leg in between somewhere. your legs. You beat you beat a gay dude. It's like fighting. You're like you know you beat up. But a, when he beat your ass, that's lose lose. Is that man. the exactly. dude that I saw walking down the street when I was coming up? <laughs> <laughs> Did he just leave? <laughs> I don't know about that. What are you talking about? That's, yeah, that's weird. Crystal was here, so <laughs> Where, he, he would have been here with me and Crystal. Where did you go? But right. um, <laughs> but no. So let me. Okay, so let me. This this is this is a good conversation because I went to the own. Black women own the conversation, and there's a whole. First of all, I don't really I, the gender genders are switching up, right? People are genders are changing. No, they're not. No, they're not. Peep, yes, they are. No, they I'm are telling not. you how. Well, because there okay, there are a lot of trans people. There are a lot of. There trans are people. not a lot of trans people. I'm yes, sorry. I'm many, sorry. You're looking at me like is a lot, <laughs> right? Are at you your all saying event. that we're not that we're not dealing with this? That they're not bathrooms being changed, laws being put into place to accommodate the 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 movement of the LGBTQ people. Man, uh, they just that, that's like the shit that that's like the the bill that's about something else, but they wrote in other little <laughs> shit and passed it all anyway. Well, the 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 young lady that came to that was a trans woman because I know, I learned that I can't say transgender. She's a trans woman. She said there's no such thing as a man or a woman. You're either a cis or a trans. Bullshit. And that really irritated me. Okay, so if you're going to put that definition, that hard stop on that, then why not it being a man and a woman? Well, do why you, can, is that why, what you want? Well, that's what I was given. The the world I was born into has men and women. Well, this this if if a person decides that they are a woman and they're not a man, as we we I know we Dave Chappelle's taken some 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 heat from his comedy show, but I think he, he was has. telling a very it would like I can't just wake up and decide. You know what? I today am a five foot ten, a hundred and twenty pound supermodel. That is what I feel like in my spirit, and that is what I'm going to be. I you will address that. me as such. My name is Svelta. Strange. Yes, and I am. I'll call you Velta. Yeah, but I want you to treat me like a five. What foot does that mean? 10, How do you treat somebody like that? One hundred twenty-six pound white woman. I'm How, not a black woman. How do you treat someone well, that way? I would way? have different privilege. I would definitely have different privilege than I well, do as a black woman. Hey, I mean, if you come to the house, I'm gonna give you the same drink that you would have got. My point is, can <laughs> as you Crystal. just can you decide I, where are we gonna draw the line on what people? I drew it. It's guys, it's men and women. The rest of that stuff is just. What about the cis and the trans? I don't. I don't know believe what that in that. Is. I don't know what. I don't what like this. It? I don't like. I did not like the woman saying that. 
I am not a woman, I'm a cis woman. She said you're not a woman? She, she said there's no such thing as a quote-unquote real woman. You're either cis or trans. What you and mean there's no such really, thing? really, really irritated me. And, and the sad thing about it, I'm going to admit to you guys, I punked out, right? Because I'm sitting there listening and they ask everybody in the audience how they feel about it. And no one raised their hand. And yet, I know I know, I didn't feel comfortable with it. And, none, and a lot of the other women didn't either, but we did not feel comfortable saying anything about it. So I waited for two months, and I'm saying it now. I don't like that. That's a shame that you let a dude tell you that you weren't a woman. <laughs> Y'all always running your mouth about dudes can't, uh, my body, my choice, my this, my that. And now one little dude throws on, get some titties implanted <laughs> and puts on some, some makeup, beats his face. And now, you know what I'm saying? Now he just. Every woman in there put her head down. Really? And there was, Why are y'all so uncomfortable with, with disagreeing? Like, are, are you allowed you to because, disagree because, without because, being because disagreeable? I, because I hear a lot of, a lot of, actually, the people that beca- that come off the most homophobic and most hateful and 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 are attacked most is straight males especially straight black males because you guys can't really say anything mm. how so we say shit all the time <laughs> i don't care i honestly you man, y'all not, might not be listening we're not li- well that, yeah. maybe that's what it is maybe, maybe i haven't not. heard anything yeah. maybe i have a filter that doesn't <laughs> i don't hear it i think but y'all tune us out that's why the me too movement is primarily female and men even though they have been sexually assaulted or, or raped, et cetera, et cetera. They're raped? still not able what? to. Men cannot voice. in what? Men are not a part of Me Too. Men are that not. That is a raped. women's only movement. How are men raped? What is the percentage of men that are raped that are not children? You mean by you mean by women? Because women. women can get raped by men. Yeah, but by women. How's that working? Explain that. Because I don't think it's possible. Oh, you don't think it's possible that I'm. That a no. man can be raped by women? I don't. There are men that have been raped by How women. does that work? Give me a play-by-play. I don't you... see how it could happen. Am I crazy? So, wait, wait. So, what's your definition of rape? Forcing some... Using force, uh, physical force, to uh, perform sex on someone that does not want it. So, it's about physical force for you. So, you think... No, it could be a gun. Like, I'd have to be walking down it the street. It could be a gun. And... It could, if I have a gun to your head... If there's a time, if I walked in here and I put a gun to your head and I said, Kevin, give me that D, and I just got in there and took it, then that would be rape. But how often does that happen? I wouldn't believe you if you said it like that. <laughs> you said D. You're right. not getting any D. <laughs> give me your D. What the fuck? Get out of here. What are you talking about? You're making me late. D. <laughs> give me the D. <laughs> Not uh, gonna happen. Like, no, but I like, mean, so no? how, how, right. how would stop? Okay, maybe not me. Okay, maybe I'm not a raper, but or is right. No, I liked it like that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'm not a raper, but how would a woman? And how are you suggesting that women have raped men? Well, every time a man has raped a woman, it has not been like he physically is forcing her down or, or like a Brock Turner situation. Sometimes it's just doing something against your will. It's, it's uh, people, with, married women have said that their husbands have raped them Bullshit. or date rape, right? <laughs> right? I was into it at first and then all of a sudden date rape something is very changed. very serious. If a woman tries to come on to you and then says, you must be gay or something and bullies you into having sex with her, that could be considered that is rape. not right. Why? She made the guy feel uncomfortable. It's not about words. He had to it's prove his forcing. masculinity. He doesn't see, have to prove. That see, is not. Well, that Crystal's, is not a, vic- the Crystal's a victim blamer because she, she doesn't even think I'm that not. it can happen to you. Here's but the problem. Here's the problem. I'm, I'm going to tell, tell you, Wayne. Okay. okay. So, a man and a woman get fucked up drunk. Okay. Okay. They go back to the hotel room or to the dorm room or wherever they are and right. they have sex. The woman gets up the next day and says, You rape me. What if the guy says, No, you rape me? What's the difference? How how is how is either one of them more right or more wrong? I think they both raped each other. If there was no consent from the guy, right. he didn't get he didn't he didn't get a, a, he got. I mean, she did not not rape him. I you know what that's I touche touche. If we because if a guy is because that would allow him to be physically turned on, even though he might not mentally be there. Right? Mm-hmm. I can't think of another time when a guy would be able to be fit to physically perform if he's not. Ready or wanting that, you can't you can't say that. Okay, well, if she said, you know, you you you're not you're gay or whatever, that's not that's that's not rape. That's that because he can make a choice. That's so bullying. I don't care what you. So bu- bullying, yeah, bullying is not rape though. 
women don't get bullied in the right. Bullying is not rape, but they do go hand to hand. That's that's that's, <laughs> that's like the elbow and the, the wrist, wrist bone shit. Like <laughs> the wrist bone. Yo. Women get bullied in having sex. So can yes, guys. Men do. Okay. I mean, women do get bullied in in having sex. The only the okay. only difference I'll, I'll is like even especially in the case of a teacher whom has uh, taken advantage of her young male student. Right, there's been a number of cases like that where women well, have been, but in, have in, been in many uh, cases penalized for uh, statutory rape. In he many cases, penal. and he did, he did. Yeah. But I know a situation where you know, Beavis. the guy, the guy, <laughs> <laughs> such an elementary, <laughs> elementary brains over here. But I know a situation where the guy was 14 and he slept with his teacher, but he admitted that he was he was going after the teacher. The teacher was not. Yeah, okay. that's, that's still illegal. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It is illegal. I'm, I'm not the, saying it's not, but I'm just saying it may not be rape. Right. Well, young men it's have been. It's pedophilia. Well, see, Kevin, no, I'm it sorry. is. It is pedophilia. No, but, but young men have been also. told that we should. Rape. You're right. Young men have been told that we should be having these types of sexual conquests all the time. Yes, yeah, so if you're 14, if you're 14 and you get to have sex, one, you geek, so you already on on a certain level. Well, if you're geek, and then you can't two, be raped. No. No, no, no. You're excited no, no, about no, no, it. Wait a minute. So you tell me no it. woman has ever been excited at first and then like But if you're over I'm saying if the woman says no one doesn't want to, but if he's excited and wants to. Now I did read an article that I shared on my Facebook page from a guy that said he had sex at 19 for the first time with a much older woman and he felt very uncomfortable. He wasn't like he was excited, I guess, but he was not really comfortable with the experience. Like he felt a uh, sense of shame afterwards. He was like, not really. He was like, yo, she used me. Yeah. Right. And, and, and. Marcus Darling. That's, no, fuck, fuck him. Mm-hmm. And any woman who does that too. Fuck them all. That's not cool. You wouldn't let no woman do that to your son. Oh, no, I would fight her. Exactly. I would fight her. I would, I would fight her. Yeah. Exactly. No, no, I'm saying the other way around. Fuck that young dude. He's full of shit. You probably and, do got, got some girls you went to high school with. They better not be. They better not be. Oh, not my baby. Stung. No, don't you do that. I will, I will turn. I will turn up. <laughs> oh, hell so, no. So, the, so if you saw that, what did you call her? Trans woman or transgender woman? What did you call her? Trans woman. If you saw her, if she were here today, what would you say? I don't think that it's fair that you can re- redefine who I am because you have redefined who you are. I just, I, I, I reject that. And I have no problem with people deciding who they want to be um, and, and, and dealing with their own. But, but I, don't, I have a problem when you project your change onto me. And I have been this person for 40 something years. You can't all of a sudden, because of your change, decide you can redefine who I am. And that what straight That's- guys have been saying from the beginning, though. I know I said that on this show. I don't give a fuck who you think you are. Right. But when you tell me that I have to call you something, right. that's just stupid. Yeah. Now, if I know you right. and you used to have a dick and you say you want me to be called a woman and I know you, right. fine. I'm gonna, I'll call you she or whatever, your, right. your new name or whatever. Right. But... In general, fuck you. Right. In general, like across the board, just when I that's, see somebody that, in the street. Yeah, that's right. my whole problem with everything because I am not, I'm not a hater. I believe people, again, should be able to do what they want with their own lives. However, I don't have to be a supporter of it because it, I, I, I can disagree with that for myself. I can't disagree with it for you, but I can, disagree, I can, I can believe whatever for myself. Right. So I have a problem with the fact that that, that the LGBTQ audience to me often um, promotes the message that if you don't support and get on board with their thoughts about themselves and the rest of us, that something you are a hater, that you're that you are a, a homophobic, and that's not true. That's that's not true at all. Not at all. But I have a right to define myself in the terms that I feel comfortable with, and I also have a right to my perspective because I think there was the conversation we had it on the show before with a, mm-hmm. a straight man that said he did not want to be with a woman that was trans, and that was you know a lot of them were saying, "Oh, she, he's homophobic." No, I have a right right to say I don't want to sleep with a, a a person that used to be a woman and is now a man. I don't want to. Do I think there's anything wrong with that? Can I work with them? Can I be friends? Do I think they should be able to get married, have sex, be whatever? Sure, yes. I don't care. Yeah, absolutely. But I don't choose to be in an intimate relationship with a person that that's their history. And I have a right to say that. Yeah, I don't think... Matter of fact, because I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. In, in fact, Malik Yoga... 
uh, Yoba. Yoba came out. I want to say Yoba. Malik Yoba came now. out. He's been on flexible. You know? uh, clearly, <laughs> he's been, he can. That, clear. that, can, that 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 little jab what? just made you guys over the top. See, that's homophobic. Jab. I think so because he's bendable. He's he's bendy. <laughs> well, he says he likes the trans. He does. Yeah. Which, yeah but but did let's you just notice? be honest. Malik Yoba is gay. He is. Or very he close to out, it. He came out, but. He came out supposedly trying to make this brave, courageous admission, but then the next couple of days, a transgender young person that he had sex with when they were in their teens, allegedly. allegedly. You left out one key ingredient. What? Sex worker. Exactly. But the point is they were underage. So what? Who, man, who, if you see a, if you see a hooker, you're like, she must be 15. But he, but he knew that the hooker was a boy. And and it, and boy it, or man? Well, a trans. Okay, it was trans. So my point is, his his admission was not bravery. It was basically to save his ass from me. Maybe I know. Blasted like there is you no, know, the there are some guys was, that like ugly women. Uh, <laughs> but actually, that's a little too far. This <laughs> what the trans look is more attractive than maybe some other women. Fine, fair enough. But what mm-hmm. I'm saying though is. We're going to believe the hooker who don't know she's a man or a woman. She don't even have all her marbles together, but we're going to trust her over somebody who was on New York Undercover. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's going to give him credibility? It was a successful show. He's been in many other movies. He's been on Broadway. He, you know never, what I'm saying? We're gonna really trust... got, he never really got back to that yes. piece. We're going we're gonna to trust a confused sex worker? Oh, wow. Well, the underage confused her. Like she's made a lot of bad decisions in her life. <laughs> but he had sex with many, uh, with, with several that was allegedly he had sex underage, with underage, several underage, Come underage. On. If you're a sex worker, you, the underage thing, get out of here. Unless you're a child slave, that no, 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 no. If, if you are you're a, a sex child worker, sex worker, but you're in your 15 or 16, that is well. That if you're is 16 oppression. in Georgia, you're not underage. It's a sex trafficking situation. That's no. probably a pimp. If you, but that, but who's, but who is to blame then? Does Malik Yoga check IDs of sex His workers? His name is Yoba. When do you get to check a, a hooker's ID? Let me check your ID. It's better to say Yoga now. <laughs> yeah, it's probably just going to say it. Look though, but look though, when is the last time you checked a hooker's ID? I've never <laughs> checked a hooker period. Kevin, when have you checked a hooker's ID? You know, I, I can't say I have. <laughs> it's, it's odd. It's an oddity, right? You're already doing you're a right. crazy thing. If you're a sex worker, you're grown. I'm not going to assume you're a kid. That's ridiculous. You've been in these streets. <laughs> and if you're in Georgia and you're 16, you're legal. That's crazy. They keep taking that age down. So don't put in the... Uh, see, that all these things are alleged and it's all these colorful words. But my point is he didn't words. come out because he was just trying to help that. He was trying to... He came out to save his ass. He didn't save anything. There was nothing to save. He didn't save it. He sold it. He tried to. He tried to. I don't think he wants to save his ass. Mm. I, <laughs> I think he bounced it in a circle. Just <laughs> bounced that ass in a circle. <laughs> I think it's turn it ass. What is it? Is it bounce or turn? No, he it's did it. Whatever, turn. whatever it is, he did it. It's, right. it's not either one of them. So I wonder it's does not. he does he hire young underage sex workers to have sex with him or does he have sex with them? Like that is, is what that made a- him feel compelled? Like uh, out of now, like why would you pick now to start this? <laughs> well, she said it's because he was on the way. To being I think that outed. he 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 did it because he didn't want to be outed by the, <sighs> the sex worker. Hey man, whatever, whatever, because whatever. The, works. the Me Too movement has people empowered, and they're telling no. Their this stories. shit is over. They're sharing their stories. This Me Too shit is over. Now that the big comedians are have latched onto it. But what do you think about that? That the article that you posted that said there's a there's a backlash for women aren't being hired now because men don't want to deal with the me too. Good. Well, here's here's the thing. You, sh- and you shut your mouth. There's like the this conversation that we're having is is happening on multiple levels, and if you're going to be on a side where you're throwing stones, then it becomes war, right? It's battle, right? And if you don't have leverage to be able to sustain your side, then yeah, because if they got a, if they have the power, quote unquote, and they can hire who they want to hire, then they may just say, mm, yeah. you know what, you're a risk. They I, don't you don't hire the person who comes in with nose rings and and crazy tattoos on their face. Why? Because it's a risk. Exactly. You're like, well, I, I don't know if I want to open up my business to this person because of the, you know, I know it's illegal to not hire somebody for how they look. So but come women, on, you're not hiring somebody with a face tattoo, are you? No. Are you hiring somebody with a face tattoo? What's the job? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that, good, good question. Okay, let's just say you're, let's say you're, artist? let's say you're a corporate recruiter. <laughs> <You're hired. laughs> let's, say, let's say a corporate recruiter. 
no. a talent scout. No. You're not hiring somebody with a face tattoo. No. But because it, you have to minimize the risk for the person that you're working for. The headhunter, you're a headhunter. You got to look the part, especially nowadays. Exactly. You got to look the part. So if a woman. Nowadays, is, no one looks the part. If a woman is more susceptible to come in and do the Me Too bullshit, that's a risk. How do you know? How would you know if a woman is susceptible to the Me Too? Does she have a vagina? Well, it's, it's no secret. You. Well, <laughs> hold on. It's no secret, especially nowadays. Most people. Companies are checking for your f- social media footprint. Yeah. They yes. want to see your Facebook, IG, Twitter. They're at least giving you a look. Let me ask you a question. If you have a woman that was publicly part of a Me Too thing, you hiring her? I would hire her. I've heard nope. guys. I've Depends heard, on the job. Depends heard, on the job. I've heard men say that they feel uncomfortable being around women now. They're not sure what to say because for a long time, women like to be flirted with as long as they like the man, right? Mm-hmm. So they will. They're they're unclear about whose advances the, are welcome <sighs> and whose advances are not welcome. Are you guys? Clear, unclear? How do you weigh in on that? No, I feel like that's true. It's just like the rules haven't changed, but the stakes are higher. They're taking more for less. What do you mean? Penitentiary chances. Yeah. Yeah, like you could, just as, as something as simple as a, a conversation. Hell, the, what was it? Doctor, was it Dr. Myron Roll or something like that with Amanda Seals? He just met with her and right. had his entire uh, reputation tarnished because of the... Uh, Exchange that they had So Is this what y'all wanted? Y'all I wanted you guys to Stop sexually harassing people Well okay but, but, but see the, Where's that line now? Well That's just Telling a girl she's pretty Is sexual harassment? If you're ugly <laughs> I'm, I'm If you're ugly then <laughs> Police can be called on you Yeah he's, he's large you're, I would not he, say he's, police He got in the elevator with me He's large Yo, And I felt If you a Clifford Powell looking nigga And you ain't got no money the police may be called on you. I'm not going with this. Is this what you guys wanted? Is what I'm, is my question. <laughs> what we wanted was freedom and empowerment, and we were tired you already of had being all constantly um, uh, spoken to uh, disrespectfully, and for jobs to be granted based on who was willing to be physically. Act sexually active with men there And are if the women, fallout is That you guys get all of that However you don't get hired We're creating our own jobs We're creating our We're no, owning stop our own it. companies No stop yes, it are. Stop it Yes, yes there are. are women with companies But come on The world is run by men As far as No we're taking over Come on The future is female Come it's guys, not though I think guys, most I, I, I do isn't. agree The future, the future is, female. is female I think most See? women he's def- he's, most, he's, he's I think most uh, He's abandoned the, ship The fastest growing sector Of entrepreneurs Is Thank black you. women Yeah but See? if there were One um, in 2001 And now there's seven But that's not what it is You know it's not You know how many 100% increase that is We rule no, we I don't will. think so. I don't think that's reality. I think that's this. This is the delude, the grand delusions of grandeur that it's you guys not, were hoping that, it would be. It's unfair the reality is, you refuse to let go. No, you're stuck in no, the cave. You're stuck no, in, the, this, in, the, no. in the in the in the old ages. I'm not. The you reality are. of it all is that women are not getting jobs now. Women are getting jobs, and sisters, we are bonded together. You can come work for us. We're actually doing a wonderful. Did you just session. say the church doors are open? Did you really just <laughs> pull you, that one in real you quick? Don't have what to are you guys be, doing? You don't have to be. Uh, harassed. You don't have to be made to feel small. You don't have to be talked down to. You can partner with other strong women who have your back. And, you know, there's just no need and y'all for that. Can, yeah, y'all can empower each other and provide emotional support and resources. And when you're all done, you can swap cucumbers like it's a good thing. <laughs> That's not necessary. See, he took it one step no, too far. No, but I'm saying that's not what it's about. How do it's we about, differentiate between? Because we have men. You, you, you just acknowledged that You just showed them men, how not to use the cucumber. You just admitted that, that the future is female. Example. And it is know, cucumbers so, is the future. No, how do we differentiate not, between the cucumber uh, bitches and the ones that that want good jobs? Or are they the one and the same? Is it okay for a good job woman to also be a, a cucumber good job bitch? Woman. Is that is that in her, in her, can you? In, well, I am not. You think she a, sucks cucumbers at night, and she's like a banker during the day. Or some shit? Is that I'm what just saying. Mean? I don't know if there is such a woman. I assume with Atlanta hey, being the you, you can the cataclysm. Get you we, someone who could do both. We started the show off saying how ridiculous it was that these women were doing a cucumber challenge. It was a hot girl. You were summer. part of it. You were part of the making it sound like it was ridiculous. But then we also are going to say, you know what? She's the next CEO. I bet she's probably going to be the CEO of some company. We have, I mean, we're not going to give guys that leeway. A nigga that's got a face tattoo in the street doing crazy, you're like, look at that CEO. But you, What's up, you, King? I mean, but, but you're not going to say that. <laughs> what are you saying, though? You can't say that. How can you tell if a woman is a cucumber challenge woman? 
Because oh, she posted it online. No, but I'm saying if she didn't post it online, how and would before you, social media, girls you used to suck to... real dick. <laughs> you know what? Evidence is... by their choker. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the D. <laughs> I was gonna say this has been great being back together, yeah. but uh, yeah, yeah, it's been great. It's wore off already. The the, the honeymoon it's is over. Off. All right, the honeymoon is over. You don't We're love back me to no where more. We started from. You don't love me no Y'all more. Y'all just clown the hell out of me, but that's okay. The future is the future is female, s- semi-masculine. <laughs> it may be trans. I do think the, the election is going to be, be decided by women. I do it's, feel I like I become. To women, I felt like down. I was becoming a trans. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait. I, I, <laughs> what? What did you say? I was trying to like build this. Like I moved into a new house. Uh huh. You know, and I, 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 <laughs> I don't even want the mic. Now. I want the other foot to drop because that first no, foot no, dropped I, like I, a motherfucker. I got this shelf, <laughs> and I was trying to put the shelf together myself. Mm-hmm. And I've, I've been learning to do things. <laughs> I've been learning to do things that a man would normally do. So I think that I'm slowly becoming a man. See, I don't like this. I don't like how she can what? switch back and forth between how, her her Trans. virtue signaling. Now you're like what a man is supposed to do. So we have roles now or we don't? I like roles. So, see, I said, I think for me, I like roles. Roles, roles. You see what I'm saying? I'm using them. Everyone not about is trying roles. to find their place. I know where my place is. And I know where women's what place is. What are you? Huh? What are you? What am I? Yeah, what are you? I'm a man. Straight up and down, no no words in front of that. Just that's just it, man. man. Period, man. man. And the person who you dealt with is a man. Now they may be called something else, right? I mean, I'm called. Be honest. But what if they have? What if they take off their penis? What as They're my other co host on another show says, what about the guts? Oh, God. <laughs> Are there guts? <laughs> you got nigga guts? Are they, <laughs> they <laughs> guts? <laughs> Are they gelding? They gelded? Like what, what are the this? guts like? That's what I'm Technically, saying. Technically, yeah. Yeah. Do you got yeah. nigga guts or do you got woman guts? That's it's a different kind of gut. I didn't I I've never thought about that, but I would assume so. I would assume so. Do you think trans trans women should be in female sports? No, and I think that's foolishness and f- it's foolishness and fuckery. That's just because they know like this. Smith's this just strong, another dude on the record, record blocking this everybody's strong shots. Man is killing everybody. Is is running faster and jumping higher, and it's like that's not fair. That is not fair. There are some very specific. <laughs> Physical differences between women and men. Well, I when they that. weaponize genders, and I say weaponize oh, because I like it, that. Be, because it, they've taken the status. It's not just about like biology. They've taken they've taken that status of gender to say, okay, I can use that to. Uh, I'm going to force myself into uh, the woman's gender, and then everything that women are entitled to, I now want it. it it's just just like. When they did, um, did, have you ever heard what's called a a $5 Indian? No. Okay, so basically (laughs) what what the idea was behind that was that Indians, in this country, Indians were entitled to land and like a certain thing, part part of their reparations, Mm -hmm. right? And so if someone uh, changed their status to Indian... Now they also qualify. So there's a lot, like there's a, a lot of white people that did that, where mm. they would pay a fee and they mm. sign up to say, "Yep, now I'm Indian." So this and has been happening for years. They were entitled to those benefits. <laughs> that's what they That's what trans women are doing with women's rights, and that's well, how I'm they're really trying to get about that Because I actually had stuff. an Indian card because my dad's mom is Indian, and I I had an Indian. I had an Indian card so we could go to the clinic, and I actually. Should have gotten scholarships. So that, I think All right, that's Elizabeth horrible. Warren. I think that's horrible. All I know is if if there if if you if you are trans woman or whatever the the correct title is because it does change. I don't know if we have any trans people to watch the show. <laughs> but if you are, if you are, and you want me to call you something, I'm perfectly okay with that. If you ask me to right. call you a, a name or a right. thing, yeah. that makes sense. Right. I'm not disrespecting you, but when you say that. All of us are this thing. I don't. I don't feel like I have to do that. Well, I don't really res- 
refer to it at all. But what I have an issue with is you can't tell me what I am. That was very yeah, that's, upsetting. Yeah. And, I or didn't me, like it. Me either. You can't tell me what I am. No, I don't like that. You can't say that. She said it's either cis men or trans men I'm or cis women. I'm mad you punked women. out, though. When, if there was a time know, to stand up for women. Well, you punked out when it came well, to Jay-Z. So you know, we're, we're, but you know what, though? The, now that I'm thinking about it, that is kind of hypocritical of us. How? If we're saying... You can't call me. You can't tell me what I am, and then we're saying to them, "You can't tell me what to call you." That's kind of. The, I'm not saying I'm not. I have to call them anything. No, I, I no. Don't have if, to refer. If you want to change your name, from yeah, I don't care. Gina I'm, to whatever George. you want to okay, be is George. fine with me, right. but I just have a problem with you telling me what I am. Like yeah. all of a sudden, hey, I've decided that this is what it is, so you're not that. We're going to redefine you. No, I'm. I'm chilling. I'm good. I'm good. I don't want to see no more videos of trans dudes and like huffing and puffing in, in stores because somebody called them him. They're going to. And I just want you guys to know the cucumber challenge was not just women. I got a cucumber in there. Y'all want to do it? It was open. It was open to men and women. <laughs> nah, son. <laughs> I'm good. I, we can see who can get farther between I'm, you two. I, I can't get far at all. It's <laughs> not my skill me, set. It's not my skill set. <laughs> Oh, this was good. This was refreshing. Okay, well, we like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. (laughs) Welcome back. Music Love Life.